At home with the Gamecocks, Corley Woods, Jacksonville State senior pitcher, smiling right now about a month ago. I don't think uh, the smiles were there. Uh, Corley, I want to go back. Uh, well, first of all, I, I assume you're safe, your family, everybody good at this point in time? Yes, sir. I think so. We're all good. Uh, I've been in Jacksonville all the time and they've been at home, so we're good. <laughs> all right. It's been roughly a month. You guys are at practice. I guess the word starts spreading. Somebody brings a phone to Coach Case. Talk about that day and your emotions and what you were going through mentally. Well, before practice started, we were getting ready for a weekend series with Sanford. And um, before practice started, Coach Case kind of called us together. And he was like, guys, to be honest, I don't think we'll play tomorrow and possibly like not the next weekend. Um, they were looking at, I'd assume our next game would be March 30th. And like, we were all let down about that. And of course we wanted to play. And um, he said, he said they haven't canceled anything yet, though, because we were supposed to – Sanford was coming to us on that Friday, and it was a weird one. We were going to go to them on Saturday – go to Birmingham Saturday and them on Sunday. And um, Coach Case was like, yeah, but I, we won't play tomorrow. We haven't heard any official thing yet, so we're going to practice today. It was a Thursday. We're going to practice today as if we're playing tomorrow, just like we normally would. And um, about – we probably we were in the, we were doing some pitchers fielding positions and um, we were probably 30 minutes into practice if that and Tyler Mashburn our manager they had him on the phone just updating Twitter updating Twitter just trying to figure out what was going on and right. it was about uh, yeah like I said 30 minutes into practice and Mashburn brought a phone up to coach and they had canceled all uh, championship the NCAA had canceled all spring championships and uh, yeah that's when we first found out so all right I know you were emotional then you were. Not very happy, but but then a few days later, then you got some good news when you found out the NCAA was going to allow you guys that another year. Tell me what you, your emotions were at that point in time. Um, well, the next day when we found, well, the, like two days later when we found out, I mean, I was very ecstatic. I was happy. Uh, I was calling my family, telling them what had happened and all this, and I was it was it worked out good for me. And then whenever, uh, I guess a week later, when they came out and said they weren't sure about it, that was not good. And then I started freaking out a little bit. Uh, I'll probably refresh Twitter more in a week than anyone's ever refreshed Twitter. Um, Kendall Rogers, I was on his page probably 24-7 trying to see what was going to happen. And I was actually talking the most. I was talking to Trey Kirkland, and me and him were just texting each other about possible things that would happen. And so, yeah, it got scary. But then the day they actually announced that we were getting our year back when they had the meeting, that was that was a very stressful day when they finally came out with it. And I like the decision they made. I think they made the right decision. No um, hesitation on your part. You're ready to come back, right? Oh, yeah, no hesitation on my part. I mean, I was going to be here doing school anyway. So, yeah, yeah, I'm going to be here. Uh, what are you doing, working out on your own at this point in time? Uh, yes, sir. We had, uh, The guys that stayed in Jacksonville, I mean, we've been – keeping our distance and since we've been with just with each other we've kind of been we've been working out and throwing a little bit so try, the field got closed so we've been having to throw in like the road and stuff like that but we've been getting it taken care of do you throw at cars when they come by or yeah, I just, yeah just some target practice every now and then <laughs> oh man let's three years at Jacksonville State the year that you guys had last year as you as we sit and talk now what what do you miss the most being around the guys, the games, practice, what are you missing uh, the most? It's definitely uh, hotel, hotels with the guys. Uh, that It doesn't get better. Everybody gets in one room. It, that's the best time. That is. I mean, we just watch a lot of baseball, talk about a lot of baseball. Everybody's joking around. It's not, you don't, not, not as worried about schoolwork. You get that finished before you head for the road, and it's just, I love the road. So the – the relationship, just being with the guys. Being with the guys is my favorite thing. Just everybody on, it's fun. Yeah, it's real fun. And everybody's friends with each other. So it doesn't really matter who you're rooming with or anything like that. Everybody meets up and it, it's a good time. Well, you did win the last game. So it, it <laughs> went out on a good note, right? You went there, out on right? a good note, I guess. Yes. Thanks for your time. You guys stay safe. Yes, sir. You stay safe too. We'll get back together again pretty soon, hopefully. Hey, hey sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. Yes, Thanks, sir. Thanks, Corley. Thank you. At home with the Gamecocks, Jack, uh, Jacksonville State senior catcher Alex Webb. A chance to catch up with him in the midst of everything that's going on. Uh, first of all, um, I know you're here, family's away, but everybody's safe, everybody good? Yeah, we're, we're spread out a little bit, you know. I got a sister and mom out in California, and then I got family down here in the south. But everyone's – we're doing good, you know. Everyone, especially the ones out west, they're doing their part to really – because they see a whole different side of it, you know. It's a little bit more – of a hard hit area out there, but you know, 
in the midst of all this, you know, we're all doing good. So we're blessed and just thankful for how healthy we've been. All right. Your second year in the program, and from the time I've been around you, to me, you're a throwback to the old days, the old guys in baseball, I'll put it that way. Yeah. So I got to believe you're you're gnawing the bad handle or something right now. Uh, you're just, yeah, no you're doubt. 18 to 20 hour baseball guy a day. Yeah, right? it's, it's tough. You know, it's one of those things where ever since I was eight years old, this time of year, you know, you're out playing baseball. And so you, you don't really know what to do with your time. And you kind of go back to what guys back in the forties and fifties did. You have Ted Williams. That was a, he was a fisherman, you know, outdoorsman. So you kind of look at those guys and they're all time greats in this game and they found ways to escape. So you have to find a way to kind of fill the void. Cause if you just let it get to, you know, sit around and everything, you're going to get your mind's just going to kind of go nuts a little bit with it all. So it's just about finding something to fill the void of something you've done since you were eight years old working out on your own at this point in time yeah yeah working out with Corley and a couple of the other guys that are still here in town we're lucky to have Josh here who's a pro guy that we can kind of be around and be with him and see what he's doing in his off time you know and kind of just follow him around and use him as a uh, a reference of what we need to do to stay ready for the upcoming fall or anything like that all right take me back to the day at practice you find out Season's come to an end, no championship, season is over. And then a few days later that if you want to come back, then you'll have that year to, to play again. Tell me your emotions, just take me through that. Yeah, you know, it was kind of a, a surreal moment because you hear of the Ivy League shutting down and everything like that. And you think, well, if it's up, like if they're shutting down up there, we may have another week or two was kind of my mindset. Like it, it may take it a little bit of time to get down here to where we're at. So we may be okay for another week or two to squeak out some more games and everything. And then you start hearing about murmurs during practice about other conferences and it just keeps moving down. And once the SEC kind of fell, we kind of figured that our season was on the brink, you know, but once we found out that the season was over, it was just kind of, I didn't know how to react, you know, it was just kind of shock and awe, I guess. Um, but, you know, the group of guys we had together this year was just, it was something special, you know. We were all really tight-knit. It was one of the closest teams I've ever been on from top to bottom. And it's just a shame that we didn't get to finish it out. But, you know, I, they surprised me giving everyone a year back. So it's going to be a good thing to have everyone back if everyone's coming back or if a couple guys aren't, you know. It's just going to be really good to have this group of guys back together for one more ride. All right. Uh, as we talk, there may be a Major League Baseball draft. There may not be. Don't really know. But will you pay any attention to it? Is it on your mind in any way? Oh, oh yeah. It's uh, I, I can't lie and say it's not. You know, since you're you're 10 years old, you know, you look up to those guys and you hope one day that you get to play at that level. And so with this year's draft, it's going to be a unique one for sure. You know, and last year I was about like Corley when he was refreshing. A Twitter this year trying to find out if we had another year or not that was me last year and you know it's it's been on my mind since then you know it's I can't lie and say I don't think about it because it's it's my next step in my career for me it's the biggest step that I want to take forward right now and I hope that I do get picked up but if not I can come back to a great place here in Jacksonville and I wouldn't be any less upset or anything about that because I love this town I love the team I love the coaches all right, wrap this up. What do you miss the most at this point in time? The trips were like the bus rides and everything. That That's a big one, but there's nothing like playing. You, you know, it's whether it's practice or whether it's a game, there's nothing like walking on the field in a uniform and playing. So I, I'd say I miss playing and competing with the guys. That's the biggest thing to me because that's that's why we play we play to compete we play to win and it's just all about walking between those two white lines and playing ball and that's pretty much what i miss the most right now all right man stay safe thanks yes sir you, see too. you soon thank you thanks alex yes sir